welcome back to another video here on free will photos man today i got some exciting news because on one just released the official pricing for the 2024 version versus the on one 2024 max version now if you're new to on one this is kind of an anomaly uh, because on one is starting to go back or at least with this max version they are allowing that program to be used as a plugin. That's one of the main takeaways between the 2024 version and the Max version. Now, we're gonna dive into the computer here in a second, but I do wanna share just a few pieces of information about Freewell Photos. One, I just released a black and white photography course so you can check that out over on my website at freewillphotos.com. And I also released an on one workspace preset. Now you'll hear more about workspaces as I start to develop more of them, but essentially it's a preset that allows you to get into the creative flow and gives you a really good starting point with more tools that you can turn on or turn off to really manipulate your photo the way that you want. I had created four of them specifically for black and white photos right now. I'm working on a few more workspaces that will be released as well, so stay tuned for that. And then the last piece of information is I'm gonna be at the Build Conference hosted by b &H in New York City tomorrow. If you are familiar with it, then you know it's a two-day conference. I'm gonna be there for September 6th. So if you're gonna be there, then hit me up on Vero, send me a message saying, hey, I'm at Build too. And maybe we can link up and go hang out, take some photos. So before we dive into this, I want to give a quick disclaimer that I realize these prices may be pretty high compared to what you can get with an Adobe subscription. I'm not here to debate that and I'm not here to tell you who's right or wrong. I'm just here to share information about on one photo raw for those who plan to get the software or you're just looking for information. Take this as purely an information uh, or a fact finding mission for you to make a decision of what you would like to get versus making this a, uh, a witch hunt of on ones out to take my money. If you feel that way, then just don't go with the on one service. But if you like the program, like I personally do, and you're willing to invest in the program that way, then go for it. So here's a comparison sheet that I made based off of the information I received from on one specifically about their new software and how it's being released and things of that sort. Now, if you want to go download this as a PDF, you can do so. Check the description box below. There's going to be a link to my blog where I also talked about this just a little bit. You're going to get more information in this video, but you'll be able to download the PDF from that blog post. Now, the very first thing that most people care about is how much is this going to cost? So I have that right off the bat on the top of this particular uh, chart here. You can see that the on one 2024 max version, this is the one that forms or works or serves as a plug in to programs like Lightroom, Photoshop, Apple Photos, anything that can support a plug in, then that's what this is going to do. With that being said, it's a perpetual license. That means you buy it once, you own it forever. Okay? You buy it once, you own it forever. Because if you look over to the right here, you can see that there's some subscription models. But here's what it's going to cost you. If you owned any previous version of All One Photo Raw, it's going to cost you $149.99 or $150 if you owned a previous version. Now, I can save you a little bit of money if you use my coupon code FREEWILLPHOTOS20. It should save you about 20% when you check out. But if you don't want to spend $149, then consider using that coupon code. It helps this channel out as I continue to make content. But it's also just a great way to serve the community on one partnered with me on that and said, Hey, we'll give you a coupon code for your audience. So you are my audience, regardless of if you're subscribed or not, but if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Now 
the outright price, if you are a brand new user, again, that coupon code still works, is $179. You know, that that is if you are brand new to On One, you've never owned any version of On One Photo Raw and you want to get into it and you want to buy the max version, then it's going to cost you $179. Now, for those of us who may not use the plugins, I personally do use the plugins, but maybe you don't use the plugins and I know a lot of you don't, then there is an option for you, which is the On One Photo Raw 2024 version. You get this for $80 flat rate perpetual license if you are upgrading. All right, that's the upgrade fee. Now, if you're purchasing On One for the first time and you just want a standalone raw converter or photo editor, and I want to point out all of the things that are plug in, so HDR effects, uh, On One effects, which is just built into On One, uh, the resize AI, no noise AI, all of these things that would be standalone plugins they are all included inside of the perpetual license of the standalone version of on one. So you don't have to go out and repurchase these plugins. If you say, Hey, you know what? I kind of wanted that HDR effects plugin. Well, if you buy the standalone, you'll have HDR uh, plugin or the, the ability to make HDR images using on one photo raw. You just won't, be able to use it as a plugin to Photoshop or Lightroom. So if you're using other programs and you want to kind of use on one to complement those programs, you may want to lean towards the on one max or maybe one of the subscriptions that we'll talk about here in a second. But nonetheless, $79.99 for upgrade price for those of you who are already using on one products or on one photo raw, I should say or $99 for new users to on one. Now, if you are into subscription models and you're okay with it, then we have two subscription models that you may be interested in. Now, as of right now, the time of me recording this video on one does have their everything subscription and their everything plus subscription on sale, but it's only on sale for the annual subscription. So you got to buy it for an entire year. And that's why I have these prices listed the way that they are. So it's $90 for one year for the annual uh, package, if you will, of on one everything subscription, or it's $7.99 per month. So you get to choose. And we'll talk about the differences of the, the two subscriptions here in a second. But the On One Everything Plus subscription is $150 for an entire year and you uh, or $17.99 per month. Now, what do you get with these packages, right? We went over the price so you can have that dollar amount in your mind because I know a lot of people ask, well, how much does all this cost? Well, that's what it costs. But here's what you get for each one of these. We'll go over updates first. Now, there's a difference between an update and an upgrade. Anything that says 2024 dot and then fill in the blank, that's going to be considered an update. As soon as we jump to the 2025 version sometime next year, then that will be an upgrade. All right. So if you have an older version of on one, when I talked about the pricing, you would be looking at upgrade because you're changing from an older version of on one, let's say on one 2021. And now you are upgrading to on one 2024. You're going to get all of the new features, everything like that. That's an upgrade. An update is for 2024.1, 2024.3, 2024.5. In fact, this year we had a 2023.1 or 0.1 and a 2023.5, which is the current version of on one. So just keep that in mind. This is that that's what an update is. So for the on one perpetual licenses, you're only going to receive updates for the 2024 version. All right, that's it. Just the 2024 version. Now, 
for the on one everything and the uh, on one everything plus subscriptions, you're going to get updates and upgrades. And that just makes sense, right? You pay your annual subscription or your monthly subscription, you're going to get the product as they release new things and new content. So you'll just always stay up to date. Uh, no different than if you subscribe to Adobe or the Luminar, uh, the, the Skyloom subscription, you're just going to continue to get the updates or upgrades as long as you can, as long as you hold that subscription. All right. Now let's talk about plugins and I'm not going to spend too much time on this because I don't know. I personally use them, but I know that a lot of people don't. Uh, but if you get the on one photo raw max, which again is a standalone license, it can be used as a plugin for your images and, or I'm sorry, for your software, it can be used as a plugin for your software. Think of this as the 2021 version back when photo raw used to allow you to use it as a plugin. That's essentially what this is. All right. Now, if you say, hey, I don't have any need for the plugins, then you may want to lean towards the on one photo raw perpetual license, uh, just the 2024 version, not the max version, especially if you don't want to go into the subscription model, because if you go into the subscription model, you get the plugins regardless of if you use them or not, if you download them or not, then you're still going to get that. Uh, but the, the point there is. If you are in the subscription model, you get the plugins. So really on the plugin line, it comes down to this. Do you want them or need them? If you say yes to I need them or I want the plugins, you're going to be looking at all one photo raw max or one of these subscription models. But if the answer to that is no, then the thing you're probably going to be looking at is going to be this, no, the on one photo raw 2024, uh, original version or non max version. Let's talk about computer activations because this matters, right? If you are like me and I work on, on one, on two computers, you're going to be covered regardless of which one you choose. Now, if you only work on, on one, on one computer, you're definitely going to be covered, but there are some people out there that are using multiple computers and, you know, five computers. I think that that's really interesting, but I've talked to some people and they have multiple computers that they use on one for, uh, and that's okay. Here's the deal. If you need more than two activations of on one, you're going to be looking at the max version or the on one everything plus version. It's that simple. Now you can always log out of your profile on one of your computers. So then you can have it available to log in on another computer. So that could make this on one non max version accessible or uh, usable for you. Uh, and I believe this also works for tablets and smartphones. So if you are working on a computer and a tablet, then this is probably the one that you want to go with. Uh, if you're working on a com two computers and a tablet, you may want to look at more licenses. Otherwise, you'll have to do that log out, log in thing, which that could be extra work for you or not. I'm not entirely sure. I personally only use two computers. So I don't think I've ever logged in to more than or activated more than two devices at a time. I could be wrong, but functionally, I only use my main workstation that I'm recording this video on and my laptop, which is a MacBook Air M1. Uh, and that's just because it's light and it's easy to travel with. So let's move on to cloud storage. Now, cloud storage is something that I I do use, but again, I only use this because I'm on a two laptop setup or two desktop version setup. I personally have not been successful with getting the mobile version to be stable 
in a way that I can continue to work. It makes my devices run extremely hot and I'm using the most, well, I guess relatively most updated iPhone as well as a pretty decent iPad Pro. But I digress on that. I just use my M1 Mac and that works perfectly fine. Now, with that being said, the Max version comes with 200 gigabytes of cloud storage for the first year. And this is comparable to the 200 gigabytes that you get with the On One Everything subscription. So if you are looking for more cloud storage, then the only option right now is the one terabyte option. Now that's, and I'm sorry, the only option right now is the On One Everything Plus subscription, which comes with one terabyte. Now, once upon a time, On One 360 used to be a separate purchase, but they have discontinued that option. So for those of you who have seen my video on On One 360 and you're like, Chris, where did that go? Well, that got roped into the subscription models. Um, and that makes sense because on One 360, it was a subscription to begin with. Uh, and honestly, it cost relative to the price of the Everything Plus subscription. And it didn't even come with the software. So I think on One did a good thing by merging it into the Everything Plus subscription package. And that just makes it a little bit more user friendly uh, for those who wanted to use that service, which I did pay for it and use it for a few years. But I am currently on the on one everything plus subscription because, again, the price that I was paying for the 360 cloud sync was equivalent to the sale price of on one everything plus. So financially, it just made the most sense to be able to get all of the upgrades plus the storage capability. But if you say, Chris, I don't care about storage capability in the cloud because I use a different service, well, then you might be okay with getting the perpetual license, the on one photo raw 2024 non-max version perpetual license. And then the last thing here really comes down to the on one plus membership. Now, if you are interested in getting presets, courses, uh, joining in on webinars, training sessions, all kinds of stuff, uh, the on one plus membership is included with the everything plus subscription and let me just be the first to tell you, I do personally use the on one plus subscription. There's a lot of great training available in there and there's a lot of great resources uh, from presets to textures to uh, sky packs. If you're into changing skies, I personally don't, but there are a lot of great resources on one does a phenomenal job at building that up and I'm not just trying to like sell you on something. I'm telling you my honest opinion. This is what I believe. Uh, I am in on one plus at least four times a month. And if you just, you know, if you're using something once a week, essentially, then it may be worth the fee associated with it is all I'm saying. You got to make that decision for yourself. But I do personally use the on one plus uh, membership section, and I think that it's a great benefit for the price that you will be paying. Even if you decided to go with the monthly subscription of $17.99 per month, it's still of great value with everything that you get, which is why the subscription model is the way that I personally decided to go. Now, I'm not telling anybody what to do. Make your own choice. My goal with this video is just to help explain the different options available to you when it comes to getting on one. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys found some value in this particular piece of content. You can ask your questions about on one photo raw 2024 down below. You know, I get to all of my comments 
And until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.